PSA 10 shiny Charizards are going for up to $2,000 now and another Hidden Fates tin reprint. If you missed out on the pre-orders, we're going to talk about how you can still get them at MSRP. This is Pokemart. What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon where we take a look at the Pokemon TCG secondary market. Uh, so where we're going to start today is there has been another reprint of Hidden Fates tins. This is the GTS distribution website. You can't buy stuff from here, uh, but you can get some really useful information. So for vendors, they have to order by basically today, and um, it will, they will not be releasing them until early September. And next we'll go to Game Nerds. It's already sold out here, but the, one of the big uh, data points here is that they weren't expecting to be able to ship it out to customers until late September. So just to give you an idea of like potential timelines as it leaves distributors early September and it, they don't, vendors don't start shipping until like almost the end of the month. But uh, so they kind of sold out already and I did take us uh, some screenshots. So I got a notification via email that this item was back in stock at approximately 3 p.m. yesterday and someone in our discord notified us that it was all sold out by like 350 so this thing didn't even last an hour um, no idea how many they had available uh, you could purchase at max 12 per order and uh, one in, one really important thing to note here though is that they were selling at these basically as MSRP, $20 per tin, uh, as opposed to that very nice 25% off. So, you know, if you miss this, it's not the end of the world. I do think there'll be opportunities to pick them up at $20 a pop as we get closer to the release. Let's just take a look at some other vendors. Uh, Express Pokemail, um, I think I've only purchased from here a couple times. I think they had some kind of promotion and they're completely sold out. And like, this is at a elevated price too. And... Yeah, like, I mean, the opportunity's already gone, but I, I'll say my own thought is, you know, I'm not a big fan of spending over MSRP for a product that just got another reprint. But maybe there's another one coming, although we do know, like, the September set is coming. I'm not sure if that has any implications as whether or not Hidden Vase can be printed again. Uh, but I do feel like it's unnecessary to spend more than $20 a tin. I can get if, oh, well, I want to make sure I guarantee my pre-order. Uh, so I want to play it safe, so I'm willing to spend the extra $5 per tin. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of that. Let's see, we got Safari Zone. Uh, I think I have purchased from here only a couple times. They actually have the pin collections, but at $30 a, like a per um per box which is basically double the original price i have no idea where this hundred is coming from that's pretty absurd if you ask me um i don't know i'm i'm like a hard hundred percent hard pass the only reason like maybe is oh i just want to have a complete sealed collection one of every product therefore i'm willing to pay that double but like when you think about it, that's six packs for sixty dollars ten dollars a pack that's that's crazy uh, so, but they do have that available and they kind of sold out as well of their tins for the case. Let's just do some quick math. 276 divided by 12. And it was at an elevated price of $23 per tin. So, uh, again, I can understand people just want to secure it, but I don't think it's necessary if this were to come available again. Similar story for if you don't buy it by the case, but you buy it by three. All right. So, how what is the best way to try to snag them when they do become available this would be my tip uh oops basically go to target.com search for hidden fates and basically uh you can similar to game nerds actually one thing i want to go back to game nerds is uh one pattern that i've noticed i've already did it but uh, there will be a little box here let me just refresh uh, where you can actually input your email address and then they will send you that email that i showed earlier notifying that they are back in stock so one pattern noted with game nerd notice with game nerds is they initially offer it out and that's kind of before the i'm not sure what this is what period this is called but before they have to have their order in and then sometime after that they maybe they figure out all right i can order a little bit more then i can satisfy all the pre-orders plus a little bit more so we open it back up so definitely put your email in here but then in regards to target basically the same process the target though is a little bit different if you do it now um basically i do it right now and some people say this is just bots at work 
but you'll get a notification I get it on my phone and like oh this thing is available I hit it like the second I see the notification and it's already gone I'm not sure that's because the bots are just like I don't know, this is from like a return and there's just like one tin randomly there and it's quickly gobbled up by someone I have no idea what but basically if you do this right now you'll just get a lot of noise and maybe you'll become frustrated because you have to keep resubscribing uh, so my suggestion would be if you want to wait for a little bit you don't want to do it right now because it's going to be nearly impossible to pick any up wait until kind of like late August early September close to when we think it might start becoming available in stores and then make sure you are subscribed uh, from previous waves it does seem like target does obviously order quite a bit so there's you know a good solid few hours at least maybe even a day where target does have it in stock and then you'll get it at that $20 price versus like some of these other vendors where you can pre-order for an additional $5 per tin so I don't don't recommend that this would be my recommendation yeah it's not as safe but uh, you can kind of get that price point that you're looking for and they do have individual listings for all three there's no such thing as three pack or case through target uh, and and I think the reason why this is a realistically a good approach is like Target doesn't do pre-orders for these reprint waves period so you kind of have to wait till it's closer when it hits their stores that way when you order it I think from their point of view you order it and then they ship it they already have it maybe in their warehouse or something like that so that would be my suggestion in that regard what we got next all right slick deals we almost never go to slick deals but when you see a Pokemon listing on slick deals i think it's a big deal especially when it's on the front page and this is that we talked about this before the darkness of blaze double pack um amazing deal when you just break it down you get darkness of blaze a blaze pack plus a sword and shield for the low price of 320 at gamestop so if you don't check it out here you just go straight to the gamestop website i don't want to give you one warning up front all i did was search for darkness of blaze uh one thing i was like oh my gosh what a uh, disappointing product to ETB will likely be this come around where you can get eight packs and sure you get like sleeves and dice I don't know about you I think I'm, I'm good on dice for forever uh, but then at a very similar price you could pick up 10 of the or at the same price you could instead pick up 10 of these and you get 10 darkness of blaze and 10 sword and shield so all right enough of that tangent if you do want to pick it up from gamestop this is very misleading because they have this one with this nice picture and it's like all right well let's click this what do we see this happened to me it's like what do you mean it's not available and uh because i didn't follow the link from you know the, like the, the subreddit or slick deals what you actually have to select is this one with the image missing it's the same exact thing it has the same exact price point there's no rating i'm not not that i'm worried about the rating but then this one you can actually pre-order these so if you start are looking to pick some of these up you can pick it up gamestop i think like the max you can order is like up to like 19 so it's pretty flexible uh if it says you can't do it just i don't know just try to play with it a little bit it's kind of nice that you got this rakuten offer as well to stack up on that so you're still in the market for those that's a good way to pick them up all right now on to Kind of like our main program that we always go through, TCG Player, Hidden Fates. What do we got? What What is the craziness at right now? Six hundred twenty dollars. Uh, SP. Actually, I don't think I have an SP on tab open. I'm just gonna open this up. Uh, but uh, and then Evolution. So that's nothing new. I find it interesting that uh, you know at first for a long time it was Charizard, Cynthia, Lele. Cynthia went way down. I think the price didn't necessarily change. It's just that the Evolution just skyrocketed up over those two so we got all the evolutions no big surprise there one thing i want to hit before we hit those cards is it's kind of annoying because this is categorized as sm promo so it's kind of easy to overlook this uh the interesting here obviously etbs are insanely pricey. I think they're going up on up to like 300 dollars uh which is mind-boggling from 50 but uh the promo is reflecting that i'm pretty sure not too long ago i did a episode and it's like Guys, you don't need to pick up the ETB. If you really want the promo, you could pick it off TCG Player for six dollars, and now it's at thirty-five or thirty-six after shipping. So, times six x over a few months is I don't know. Th things are just so crazy right now. All right, let's take a look. Espion, man. I think at one point I was doing some like dupe giveaways. I'm pretty sure I gave away two Espions, like an Umbreon, and maybe like a Sylveon or two. And now, like, when you look at the prices, it's like, oh my, 81 for a Umbreon. And eBay reflects very similar, if not higher numbers. Last sold one was for 95. 
Man, when um like a non Charizard thing that you could store. You can buy tins if you're quick enough, um, and not to be like the biggest hit in the box. It's so, so crazy. All right, but here we go with the Charizard, six hundred and twenty dollars. That I'm going to mention this every single time. Not too long ago, that was what the going rate for a PSA ten was. <laughs> Wait until we get to what it is now. All right, on eBay, if you want to pick up one up right now, it's going to cost you even more, $650, 750 Again, the biggest difference is you get a better idea for what you're getting as far as centering if you do want to get it graded um, uh, versus like off super off-centered one is still probably near mint, especially in TCG player's eyes. Uh, but yeah, a little bit higher on eBay, but that's kind of always been the case. Let's take a look at sold listing pack fresh 675 so they are being sold at that price as well let's see it's kind of hard you see a lot of other stuff every once in a while it's crazy it's like oh maybe that was actually a pretty good deal <laughs> i'm probably not going to touch anything like that and uh if you remember back we kind of said like probably one of the worst purchases i ever made was a card very similar to this one uh 9.5 and uh, it's actually <laughs> rebounded to a point where I could probably sell it for more than I bought it, which is, yeah, pretty crazy. All right, PSA 10. All right, here we go. So there's they don't show the exact price. And I think this uh, pretty cool Chrome thing no longer works. But let's look for a PSA 10. Actually, this is really low. Look at these two in between. There's someone posted their thing for 950 It probably got bought instantly because the one sold before that was best offer accepted from 2200 i'm pretty sure this thing doesn't do anything yeah it doesn't work anymore so it's unclear uh free shipping from sweden is interesting but multiple ones looking like we're getting definitely getting close if not are already at the two thousand dollar mark for this card and uh so one interesting thought exercise that if, that i think is interesting so let's just assume two thousand and like I feel like at this point it's a valid exercise if you would consider buying this. It's like, all right, what what would it cost for me to potentially open up one, or how many tries do I have to open up one, send it to PSA, and what are the chances of getting a ten? Let's go through that exercise. So let's assume two thousand, and the ratio between nine and ten. We're just focusing on nine and ten. I feel like you can easily weed out eights and. We're going to make assumption that the chances of pack fresh being an eight is pretty low. I do feel like the print quality is pretty good right now, uh, but it's roughly three to one. And the cost of submitting to PSA with potential getting a 10 from this page, at least I'm not a PSA expert, but when I read this, all right, it would cost like $75 for the grading. Okay. So let's do some math. $2,000, $2,000 minus 75, let's say minus another 10 for the shipping to PSA and then we have 1900 left or divided by the MSRP of $20 and that is enough for if you can find it maybe that's the biggest thing here 95 tins let's say all right there's tax and other stuff all right let's just say 90 tins which is 360 packs to pull one Charizard and then send it off to PSA and get the 10 um, and I feel like my, my takeaway here is one it's a fun fun exercise and and uh, if you feel like that's that's a good amount of tries and maybe you can I have no idea what the pull ratio we've only pulled two Charizards and I have no idea how many packs they've opened uh, so I have no idea what the chances are but you know as far as what the opportunity is to find it yourself pull it yourself and get it graded versus just picking up already graded and i think when you kind of when that's actually a valid you know a it's reasonable to even do this calculation to me that means that the price um what does that mean for the price i'm not really sure but like when it when it comes down to that the price just seems very strange especially for a modern product a product that is actively being reprinted or we know just got reprinted all right, last thing for Hidden Fates, sealed. So <laughs> reminder, like I, I think that target thing, I recommend, highly recommend everyone do that uh, because if you just look on eBay, this was like the day after, like, or maybe not everyone's familiar because people don't track it as nearly as closely as we do, but we do know more are coming. 
but it's still from Australia is interesting. Uh, being bought for this is three tens. They said twelve x, but it's just booster packs for one sixty. And uh, yeah, so at this point, these is this is like crazy high markups. And I don't even I think the e, I don't see ETB one, but I think yeah, those are stepping close to three hundred at this point. So hidden fates, the the hype is growing after all this time it's basically a year oh just about a year since it, it released and price is still going up it's still being reprinted just crazy all right cosmic eclipse only thing main thing of note here is the charizard brixton still doing pretty good 127 uh do i have a i don't think i have a let's just get grab unbroken bonds see where that one's at I would say I kind of made a mistake of picking some of these up and I have still 130 so hmm, this one still feels like it's pretty low. Alright, did Dene's toolkits are out, best product, um, sealed product in my opinion uh, since I don't remember when and that like super like even higher than the Picaram one which was probably when that one dropped was definitely the best product. <laughs> but uh, so how did it affect prices? Um, actually, maybe the most important thing is, look, I am, maybe I'm going to play IRL at some point. I don't, I never bought products before, but I do want to compete, be competitive. I can pick up some of the more expensive cards, which used to be Dedenne at 330 a card, which is awesome. Uh, on eBay, what are these things going for? The, pro the codes are interesting. Um, they seem to be... There seems to be some variety. We got a 550 here. And the other thing to note is like, what's the impact on the other Dedenes? It seems like the regular one is still going for low teens. I think it was maybe like 20 before that. And higher, like if we go back a couple months before like the toolkit was really announced. All right, then we got, yeah, pretty low for these cute Dedenes. I think I'll probably run these for a little bit. And then the code cards, yeah, six. I feel like I thought I saw some code cards for a little bit higher. This is just a, the code card for 10, which is, uh, that's almost half the price of the box, which is crazy. But all right, let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, you can still buy this at Game Nerds if you use the link. Uh, this link, I'll put it down below. You actually do support the channel. And uh, yeah, you can pick up six. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think there's going to be a shortage anytime soon. They still have 800, over 800 available to be bought. And this is kind of like, you know, I think for most people, it's like one done. And to be honest, like, oh, I preferred buying singles totally appropriate i just know that a lot of people like to buy seal products even for their like even if they're playing competitive and this is still a great way to do it to get that you get your bosses you get your dedenes and then you're good to go all right let's take a look at jirachi real quick the latest jirachi four of in the picaram league deck 250 and um yeah obviously there's no events going on right now but I love these products. It makes playing so much more reasonable. I feel it does a lot of gain factor for a lot of people. It's like, oh, I don't have, I don't have the Dedenes. They're going for like twenty, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a pop, and I, that I can understand. But so now it's much more reasonable, two fifty, and then you know what was it, three something for the Dedenes. All right, let's take a look at those league battle decks. The code cards. These are significantly higher. They, they must have made it so many printed so many of those toolkits and like everyone seems to have bought them so i think that's good just everything prices are just going down for to play competitively these ones are still pretty high and maybe because um you know there's much less resale value oh still quite a bit so about 850 for the code although yeah oh this is the one where it's quite oh this is a rushy round one uh but even yet yeah, even the pika rom for 550 so yeah again quite Quite a good range, but looks like majority of them are like seven or eight dollars. All right, sword and shield. One reason why it's important to continue to look at this is those double packs. To be honest, like come release of Darkness of Blaze, it's like, ooh, why, why even go, why even go for booster boxes? Why wouldn't booster boxes Just open up those ones? You get like. Uh, yeah, you pay a little bit more for the Darkness of Blaze stuff, which maybe is the whole point, but you get these extra Sword and Shields. Reminder, three twenty. Uh, so that's like $1.60 per pack. Um, yeah, we care more about the Darkness of Blaze, but let's just say $2 a pack, and then, um, you know, whatever that comes to, one twenty for the Sword and Shield distribution. And then if you kind of assume that, which is pretty good, uh, then like even at that price point, if you do the math, it's like $72 compared to the box, which is the Darkness of Blaze stuff, which is still worth it so i see you know 
a lot we're going to be pulling a lot of these in the near future and i feel like the obviously the most expensive card right now is zacian followed by um some sent it by i think this is the big win is the quick ball is going to be what i'm hoping to get a play set of i think this thing will always be relevant always be super useful and so to have those in in the collection would be great to have zacian yeah mid 60 i feel like uh, definitely went up in recent times i feel like not too long ago it was like 40. quick ball was at 30 for a little bit has gone up and i feel like i don't know I, if anyone's like oh i have a lot of quick balls like do i sell them i've never heard that and i'm not sure anyone should do that but i do feel like there's a bunch be going to be a huge influx of sword and shield packs out there that are probably going to be open because people want open darkness ablaze and it's like all right i get these for a great price if i open these as well so i if i had to guess maybe this will go down a little bit just because there's gonna be a lot of sword and shield opened in the near term all right we got one more tab and you know the hidden face topic was going to take up so much time that i actually didn't get to the main topic that i wanted to cover so there's going to be another pokemon episode in the near future but we'll just do this to help us segue into that conversation and that so this is just a sold listing on ebay for base psa and the thing i want to point out here as we kind of go through um is just like how much the prices have increased over I don't know the past uh, five months or something. Let's just say half half a year to, or if you were buying something half a year six months ago, what you may pay. I'm pretty sure I picked up a PSA eight Mewtwo Shadowless from Troll and Toad, so not even from eBay, from like a, a vendor that you know obviously they mark things up too for like fifty dollars. So and kind of like what I want to talk about next episode is how people should. What, what is the mindset when like the prices are just so high and or I'll kind of like or at least talk about where I'm at in regards to like all right how am I dealing with these huge price increases do you still buy into it and kind of like different different viewpoints because oh, actually maybe this I would pick up I, I feel like base set two is just the the um it's super old it's pretty vintage um I'm not sure about you know how much there is out there but just no one cares about it and even if i'm wrong no one ever is going to care about it. i feel like these are just too good i would still pick these up at 20 dollars, even if it's just psa 7 but uh mewtwo psa 8 i think when i was first finishing my psa 9 set i was picking up the majority of the set at 30 dollars a card and now if you drop a grade still double it <laughs> the current price Oh, I remember you picked these up for less than 100. So we're going to get into more of that in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. And that's going to be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you have any suggestions for future episodes or what are your thoughts on the Hidden Fates? If you know anything, I don't want to add anything to conversation in regards to how the distribution and timing works. Uh, I'm just going based on what I have observed. You know, this is not based on any kind of insider information whatsoever. So if you have anything to add, let me know in a comment down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel, whether it's on YouTube, Twitch, Patreon. Thank you all for all the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.